What is up everybody, it's Cobes here and today I'm back with a top 10 best legendary skins video. I know we've done this before, but this is what my fans or my viewers, subscribers, whatever you want to call them, voted for. I have all the different stats if you want to check it out after the video. I have the poll, a pie chart, all that stuff. And I'm going to be comparing it to my personal list, so I think this should be interesting. We will mention every single skin, every single legendary, but we're mostly going to go over the top 10. Make sure to vote in the description for the next video, and let's try to get to 500 likes. Make sure to drop a like out, appreciate that. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave me a comment telling me if you agree with all of your decisions, all, your, all of your votes. But thank you for watching, let's get into this video. So I think the best way to do this is have me tell you what I picked for the number 17 spot, and then I'll tell you what you guys voted for for the number 17 spot. So, at our number 17 spot, I had Rex. And you guys picked Havoc with only 5 votes. The only reason I think Havoc is so low is probably because not many people got the Twitch Prime free skin. Or if they did, maybe they don't like it. But I feel like that guy looks very similar to the Raptor. And I personally like him more than the Raptor, but... He's the one who got the least amount of votes. Tell me why you guys didn't vote for him. At our number 16 spot, we have the Cuddle Team Leader. That's who I picked personally. That's not one of my favorite skins by far. But at seven votes, we have the Dark Voyager. Come on, guys. You are always talking shit because I don't like the Dark Voyager more than the Dark Vanguard. But only seven votes for the Dark Voyager. If I did this poll earlier in this season, in season 3, I feel like more people would have voted for the Dark Voyager because he was really cool in the beginning, but now that he's kind of old, everyone has him, I can understand why he's at this number 16 spot. At our number 15 spot, I had the Raptor, and you guys voted for Rex with only 8 votes. So just like I assumed, I thought most people didn't like the Rex. I personally don't like the Rex. He's my least favorite legendary. But only 8 people out of like 650 voted for the Rex. So that just goes to show you that the Rex is not a fan favorite. Not by me, not by you. I appreciate that guys. Thank you for not voting for Rex. Just a shitload. At my number 14 spot, I have Havoc. You guys did not like that skin. I like him, I guess, a little bit more than you. I think he's very similar to the Raptor. I like him more than the Raptor, to be honest. But you guys picked at the number 14 spot with 13 votes, the Love Ranger. This one was pretty surprising to me. I thought everyone loved the Love Ranger because of it, his love wings. That's like the main attraction to him. Maybe if I was doing back blings, this may be different. Um, I don't really know exactly. I will be doing a video in the future of the best backlinks, so we'll see if everyone's voting for the Love Wings. I'm assuming a lot of people will, but do I agree with this decision? I feel like Love Ranger should be higher. He is on my list, but I, I guess I understand why. At my number 13 spot, I have Triceraops. I feel like this skin is very basic. I, I think the design is kind of disgraceful, to be honest. Especially this far into the game. They've added so many cool skins, but this one just doesn't cut it for a legendary skin in my opinion. But at, at your number 13 spot, the fans number 13 spot, with 16 votes, we have the Power Cord. And the Power Cord, I can understand why not many people like that skin, but in my opinion, it's way higher up than some of these other skins that you have way high up on this list. At my number 12 spot, I had to put the Dark Voyager. I feel like he definitely got knocked down a bunch by the Dark Vanguard. We'll see if you guys have the same results. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But at your number 12 spot, you guys picked the Wukong with 19 votes. So a decent amount of votes, 3%. I mean, I thought the Wukong was going to be a lot lower. It seems like every time I put this guy higher up on my list, a lot of people are talking shit. I know he only got 3% of the votes, but I'm surprised this guy wasn't a little bit lower. At my number 11 spot, I have the Crack Shot. And the Crack Shot is a skin that everyone's always telling me, why is it so high up on your list? And then I'm just shocked. I'm like, what? You guys are voting way too much for this guy if you're always talking shit about how horrible he is. But at your number 11 spot, you guys had Triceraops with 22 votes. 
I'm just assuming since it's new, it got so many votes. I think most of those votes are because it's new. If it wasn't new, I think it would have maybe 10 less votes, maybe 12 less votes. I feel like it would be definitely on the lower side, not more in the middle. But I understand that vote. At my number 10 spot, I have the Black Knight. That's a pretty obvious one. I feel like the Black Knight should be in the middle of this list, if not on the higher end, just because you have to respect the Black Knight. He's a great skin. You guys already know, though. So we also have at our number 9 spot, the Wukong. I did two of these because we have a tie for our next two spots, which is pretty surprising, the skins that are tied. But... At the number 10 spot and the number 9 spot with 25 votes each, we have, or you guys have, the Reaper and the Raptor. I honestly thought the Reaper was going to be a lot higher, and I'm surprised the Raptor got so many votes because I put him way lower on my list. But I do understand why people like this skin. It, it, it is appealing. It was appealing at first when I first got it, but now that I've had it for a long time, I feel like there are so many other better skins. But the Reaper... I thought it was going to be a little bit higher up. At my number 8 spot, I put the Love Ranger, which definitely didn't match up with your votes. But I understand, it's a pretty basic design. But at your number 8 spot, with 26 votes, beating the Raptor and Reaper by one vote, you guys picked the Crack Shot, which is surprising as hell to me. Because whenever I put Crack Shot higher, higher up on my list, any list I do, I always get a bunch of shit in the comment section for it being so terrible so if you guys hate the crack shot make sure to talk shit to each other in the comment section at my number seven i picked the battle hound which it hasn't showed up on this list that means it's higher up on your list but the battle hound is definitely a decent looking skin i wouldn't put it higher than my top five just because i feel like the design isn't as cool or as smooth i guess but at your number seven you guys picked the cuddle team leader oh man oh man the cuddle team leader with 28 votes i know it didn't beat like the reaper and raptor and crack shot by a ton of votes but it still beat them this is a very surprising one to me because i don't like the cuddle team leader at all it was my number 16 spot and you put it at the number seven spot Okay, I guess. At my number six spot, I have the Raven. I feel like the Raven was really nice when it first came out, but some of these other skins have grown on me, or I just think they look a little bit more badass now that the Reaper's been out for a, a little bit longer. But at your number six spot, you guys had the Black Knight. And I totally understand this pick. It only had 29 votes, so it only beat the Cuddle Team Leader by 1, the Crack Shot by 3, and the Raptor and Reaper by 4. So it's not like it blew any of these out of the water, but the top 5 definitely blew everything out of the water. And I, I can't wait to get to those, but the Black Knight, you have to give it some respect. I feel like if I did this poll in the future, or in Season 2, it would have gotten a ton, ton of more votes, but... I think if I do it in the future, people will respect this skin a little bit more and maybe get get it up to that top five. At my number five, I picked Power Cord, which you guys definitely didn't like. Only 16% of, or six, 16 people voted for it in total, not 16%. But you guys picked for the number five spot with 53 votes. So that's a ton more than the Black Knight. That's almost double what the Black Knight got. You guys picked the Dark Vanguard. I totally understand this decision. I feel like everyone likes the Dark Vanguard more than the Dark Voyager, which in this poll and in my own opinion, I feel like that's the case. The numbers show that. So the Dark Vanguard, a pretty good number five spot. At my number four, I have the Reaper. And at your number four with 70 votes, that's insane. You guys picked the Raven. And this skin is amazing. I feel like this one didn't get votes because it's new. I think this skin all around is a great skin. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's at that number um, four spot. I feel like it deserves that number four spot. So at my number three spot, I have Leviathan. And you guys at the number three spot with 88 votes. That's crazy. The Red Knight is at the number three spot. Wow, guys, I was not expecting so much love for the Red Knight. Maybe it's because it's rare, but I really think this design stands out a lot more than the Black Knight. And the Black Knight was what? At the number seven or six spot? 
yeah it was at the number six spot so honestly the red knight deserves this spot i love this skin and i feel like a lot of people do and it doesn't come out very often in the shop so hopefully we get it and we can all buy it maybe it, once everyone has it it won't get as many votes or maybe it'll get more votes we'll have to wait and see at my number two spot i have the dark vanguard so you guys put that at the number five i put it at the number two and you guys at the number two spot with 98 votes in 15 percent of the total votes we have the Battle Hound. Wow, the Battle Hound is getting so much love right now. It got 10 more votes than the Red Knight, and I'm really surprised with this one. I can't believe it, honestly. Huh, that's wild to me. I did not know there was so much love for the Battle Hound. I knew there's a little bit. I saw a lot of comments whenever I put Battle Hound high up on my list that, yeah, I agree with that decision. I love the Battle Hound. I have the Battle Hound. All that. So I guess um, now looking back at it, I understand why so many people voted for it. I, I should have saw it coming, but I guess I didn't. So at my number one spot, I picked the Red Knight. If you guys want to go check out that video, I'm sorry for not mentioning it earlier, but it's ranking every legendary skin and just look it up. It has like 50,000 views. It's the number two one. It's not the one um, that I first did that has like a million views. But um, at your number one spot with 116 votes, 116 votes, that's insane. You have Leviathan. And I was thinking maybe Triceratops, since it's a new skin, would have a lot of votes. But no, it didn't. I really feel like people like the Leviathan skin. I really do. It's not because it's new. Maybe maybe, maybe 10%, maybe 20% of these votes are because it's new. But I really think a majority of these votes are from people who actually like this skin a lot. Not because it's new. So you can't really say that, oh, it's new. That's why I got a ton of votes. When Triceratops only got 22 votes. So it almost got a hundred more than that. And it's not even as new as Triceratops. So I will show you like all the results to this poll if you guys wanna wait around and see. But if you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. I appreciate you watching. But if you wanna click off this video now, I understand. I'll see you guys later. So in total, 648 votes in one day. So good job guys, I'm proud of you asking order let's see the asking order and if that played a role in this i don't really think it did um may maybe it did maybe if the black knight was up top maybe it would have gotten more votes i don't know exactly but most popular you guys can check it out right here 18 percent for the leviathan 15 for battlehound 14 for red knight 11 for raven and then it just drops off only one percent for these three skins only one percent wow i was not expecting the Dark Voyager to be so low on this list. That was definitely the most surprising out of all of these. I'm trying to think of another really surprising. Like, I I guess I understand Leviathan. I think it's the most creative skin in this game. But Battlehound was another surprising one. And I think the Red Knight. I think those were two pretty surprising ones as well. Other than that, I mean, Cuddle Team Leader with 28. I understand that. That's not crazy. But, wow. The Love Ranger with only 13 votes. That's another pretty crazy one. You can check that out if you want to. But um, here's the pie chart. 17.9% of the votes for Leviathan. And then 15.1% for Battlehound. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications. I will see you guys in another video. Remember, vote in the description. Bye-bye, guys.